There's nothing like chilling with my girls Just me and my divas taking over the world What's up, what's up, divas? How y'all doing? It's your girl A, and I'm back to slay. So first of all, I do apologize in advance because all you see is my lips moving, so I had to do a voiceover. I was very unaware that my microphone was not charging properly. Um, Yeah, one of the switches was switched to a non-switch, so I sat here all day and did all these videos and none of them I could hear. But anyway, y'all, we're going to get right into this video. Y'all know what I say about Shein. She in that wig, y'all. She in them clothes. She in the know, y'all. I love Shein. They got some amazing products. Girl, I told you guys I am so addicted to Shein. I bought these earrings from Shein. Okay, I bought this denim vest from Shein. The shirt I got on from Shein. Girl, listen. I'm about to rock this wig from Shein, okay? So for one, this is a 13 by four. She is 24 inches, baby. Deep wave. I did bleach her. She comes with combs and an adjustable strap. There isn't an elastic band in their units, but you can freely sew one in if you choose to. So girl, let's just jump into this and see how your wig come. I did bleach this unit and I pre-plucked some of the hairline not too much because girl I wasn't trying to scalp it and it's 150% density 24 inches baby when I tell you she and has some really nice wigs girl do not sleep on them because they got some nice ass wigs okay so like most wigs that are stock wigs you know they don't fit properly meaning they may be a little bit too big it depends on each company so you do need to customize your unit i just part directly over my ear where the wig is overlapping and then i cut into that part it's not going to destroy your wig it's not going to ruin it it's just going to allow it to fit properly you want to do this on both sides um if you're not doing it on both sides that means you don't have the wig on evenly you know you got to have that wig centered baby and then the next important step is to cut the lace off. Now, a lot of people like to use razors to cut their wigs. Some like to use big blunt scissors. Some like to use curved scissors like myself. I have all different type of methods, but when I use the curved scissors, it does make it a lot easier. I try to cut in a jagged uh, motion, but you gotta do what's best for you. You know what I'm saying? This isn't Swiss lace, so you do need to work with it. And as always, you will need to make sure your hairline is clean, which I already did. Now, I always use the Aussie Instagram freeze hairspray which i love now this wig is going to take three layers of hairspray only because of the lace this hairspray gets super duper uh tacky it gets dry quick the more layers you put on the quicker it's going to dry so for the first layer i'm just going to go ahead and smooth it around the perimeter and i did feel to see if it was tacky and it does get dry and tacky really quick now i'm going to go ahead and do the second layer of hairspray this hairspray is super affordable you can get it at walmart target amazon it's about four dollars a can i've been using this for like 12 years now i use it to install and to style baby okay now we're going to go ahead and i did say three layers but for the first forehead per portion i only need to put two layers just two layers you know i don't know i just 
two layers is good from the middle but on the side i'm going to go ahead and i'm going to take that third layer and i'm going to spray it on now remember i did say the more layers of hairspray you spray the quicker it dries so you definitely want to do this don't spray it all at one time on the third layer because it will dry really quick and then you'll have to spray another layer which would be a fourth now because the lace is a little bit thicker than um the thin hd swiss I'm gonna use my blow dryer just to melt it. I'm gonna go ahead and do the same on the opposite side by spraying my third layer and just allowing it to get tacky. Remember, the more layers you spray, the quicker it is. So it didn't quicker dry. So I didn't really need to allow it to get too tacky because I'm gonna use the blow dryer to melt and air dry or dry the actual unit. If you see, I'm pushing the hairs towards the front of my face with my uh, comb right there. And that is because I really don't want the hairs to lay down too flat, only because it's a curly unit. You don't need it to be so stuck laid down to your, you know, your scalp. I mean, it depends on you, but because it's a little bit thicker, I'm gonna do it a different uh, way. So at first I'm gonna take out some hairs just for like baby hairs, wispy hairs, sideburn hairs, whatever you wanna call it. And like I said, I did pre-cluck some of this unit, but I didn't do a lot of it because I was, you know, I was in the middle of getting ready and I actually honestly forgot. And now I'm gonna just take my scissors and I'm going to go ahead and trim the hairs. Now my favorite styling foam for sculpting any type of flyaways or baby hairs is by Mark Anthony, which is Strictly Curls. This is a thicker foam. It does not get into, it does not turn watery like instantly. This will stay foam for a while. And this is the reason why I like to use this only to sculpt my baby hairs. And just to tame the hairs and add curl definition, I will be using my Nairobi foam. Time to melt the lace and also situate the wig. So I have a container of water or a bottle of water and it does have conditioner in it just so the hair doesn't dry out. But I'm also going to be using my Nairobi styling foam. Now this styling foam is a lot different versus the Mark Anthony. It's not as thick, it doesn't stay foamy like as long. It doesn't get sticky. So this is more lightweight, more water um, solution. And I absolutely love this. I would compare the Nairobi to the Lotta Body. I do use both. Lotta Body is a lot more affordable versus the Nairobi by $5. And I honestly do feel like they are actually the same. You know what I'm saying? They're the same color. They have the same performance. So if you're on a budget, definitely try the Lotta Body. It's really good. I use both. I go back and forth. And just as I am going to to go ahead and brush the hair i'm going to go and do this side now this is the hair air dried and just thick curls but this hair did dry pretty fast i stepped away from the camera for about 30 minutes and i allowed it to air dry after while i got dressed because girl i'm gonna show you what i'm gonna pair this hair with and y'all already know it's a she in outfit girl okay she in okay she in the know she in that wig y'all And then we're gonna take this Ardell concealer, we're gonna rub it into the actual lace. Now here we go, boo boo, all done. I went ahead and changed my earrings into these Shein earrings that I purchased and my Shein outfit. These curls are juicy, baby. Do you see those curls? Now what I'm doing now is just unsticking the hair. I didn't want it to lay flat on the sides because like I stated, it is a thicker circumference, but the curls are so juicy in this unit. As you can see in the front, the hair is layered. I love the way it's framing my face. And I'm just gonna take the hair, I'm gonna lift it up and I'm going to push it towards the front. This will give you a better, natural, more looking unit. I don't need too many baby hairs because it's curly. I know I don't really do a lot of middle parts, but I thought this looked really good in the middle part, especially for the fact that it's layered. I'm loving this. A little bit of Starbucks, Starbies to drink, and girl, we good to go. 
all right i will definitely leave all of the information down below for this unit you guys 24 inches like i stated 150 percent density deep wave 100 percent virgin human hair okay now as far as any shedding it did shed a little bit as i brushed through it after i bleached and washed it i left the bleach on for probably like about an hour and then i did go in and use my purple shampoo like i stated i didn't pluck it too much because i honestly forgot and i felt like i did enough for the unit but i'm loving these juicy curls it dried so nicely. I was afraid that it was going to dry stringy because you know how you curl, you use water on some um, curly hair. And sometimes the curls are a lot different when you wash it versus spritzing it with water. Sometimes when you spritz it with water, it's more stringy. But these curls are big and juicy. This is my fourth Shein wig review. And I will say that the last two wigs that I reviewed for them, the one before this, and this one is a really, really nice wig. Very nice wigs. I love the construction. I love the affordability. And also, I love the variety of wigs they have. They offer a lot of different wigs, lace wigs, headband wigs, and bundle hair. But I will leave all the information below. Make sure you rate, comment, subscribe. And I will see y'all in the next one. And stay tuned to the end of this video where you can see me trying on my Sheen outfit.